Hi guys, so I thought I would just touch on this quick update we've got for Liverpool players that are injured and are going to miss the Carabao Cup final. So this has just come from Paul Joyce, so you know, obviously a reliable source, and he's saying that Trent Alexander-Arnold is to miss the Carabao Cup final due to injury. Uh, Trent has been ruled out of the Carabao Cup final at the end of the month and will be sidelined for a number of weeks after aggravating an existing knee injury. A date for Liverpool's right back to return to action has not been fixed, although Liverpool Man City's Premier League visit to Anfield on the March 10th loomed on the horizon. And then he goes on to say that obviously the opportunity now knocks for Conor Bradley, who scored his first goal against Chelsea two weeks ago, and that's who obviously we're playing in the final. Uh, Trent was forced off at half time during Liverpool's 3 1 victory over Burnley last Saturday and looks to have returned to action a bit too soon after sustaining the initial knee problem during an FA Cup win over Arsenal. The 25 year old suffered a small tear on his ligament, but made his comeback three weeks later in a one sided FA Cup win over Norwich despite feeling some discomfort. Liverpool were heading into key league games against Chelsea and Arsenal and the desire to have their vice-captain available was clear as he looked to play through the, play, the, play through the pain. Sorry. <laughs> the Burnley game was the second time that Trent had started since the initial injury and although Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp stated that the player was unable to last 90 minutes the previous weekend in a 3-1 defeat at the Emirates, when, he, when selecting him in his lineup, Klopp revealed that Trent caught his studs in the turf against Vincent Kompany's side, and with the injury having never really healed, it just exacerbated, exacerbated. You know what I'm trying to say? It made the problem worse. <laughs> he is the second player to endure a misfortune in the recovery, with Thiago having suffered a hamstring injury just five minutes into his return after ten months out with a hip injury. He's probably played his last game, guys. Jesus. I didn't know it was a hamstring injury after five minutes. Do you think he's going to retire, Thiago? I, I've got a feeling he's going to retire him, honestly. I swear to God. Um, in addition to this, Dominic Sobozlai is also considered a doubt for the Wembley showdown with Chelsea after sustaining a hamstring injury. Um, Trent will hope his rehabilitation means he can get back in action before England... Coach Southgate names his squad for the friendly matches against Brazil and Belgium at the end of March. Uh, and there's some good news here, guys. That there's better news for Liverpool with Mohamed Salah stepping up his training on Tuesday following the hamstring injury he sustained with Egypt at the AFCON. So, <clears throat> for me, Conor Bradley's back. Let's play him a few games now, get him going. I'm not too... I'm not too worried about that, and to be fair, Dominic Sabozlai as well, he seemed to have come off a little bit, you know, I feel like he's, he did well at the beginning of the season, but I feel like he's kind of dropped his performances, shall we say, in recent weeks, um, so you probably would say that Liverpool are okay now, for in, you know, for cover, you know, yeah, Conor Bradley will come in at right back, if, you know, a push comes to shove, Gomez can go there if needs be. Because we've got Robbo back and Shimakas seems to be not too far behind. So Bosline midfield, we've got Jones, we've got Elliot, McAllister, Endo. So you'd think that the midfield three that's going to start in the final for me right now is probably going to be Endo, McAllister, and Jones, um, which seems to be working fine for us. So as long as Liverpool don't sustain any more significant injuries, I would say we're okay in the short term. But if these players are expected to play Premier League. Europa League, so on and so forth, then they're going to get tired and they're going to need a break. So anyway, let me know down below, guys, your thoughts on all of this, and I'll catch you in the next one.